What were your thoughts on on the trip and the and the two games in the island? Um, I thought it was a pretty good performance for us. I think uh, we would have loved to come out two and zero. Um, you know, in the first game, Tulane started pretty slow. Um, just had to kind of find the right combination. I think I subbed in almost everybody in the first quarter. But once we did, we hit our stride, and I think that really opened it up for us. Hit 15 threes, so that was great. Um, bounce back from the Oklahoma game. Um, and people got confidence. I thought we had a lot um, off our bench, 49 points off our bench in that game. And we just came together. So I was proud of our effort there. And then I was proud of us against LSU, too. I mean, we were right there, so it kind of kind of hurt because we just had a big opportunity in front of us. And there was no doubt in anybody's mind in our, in our locker room that we were going to come out with a W in that game and uh, just fell short. When we talked to you, I guess it was last Tuesday. Now, maybe you'd left by then. But the last time we talked to you, you had just had uh, KD and Paris back for one game. Sam had only been back for a couple. They've been back for a while now. Is there? Can you sense that, that everybody's kind of more integrated now than maybe they were right when they got back? Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't say a while. It seems like a while, but um, really, Sam's been back for, what, two weeks yeah. at the most and in Paris has probably, I don't even know if she's had a full week of practice at this point. I think she's had probably like five practices. So, and same thing with KD. So, I mean, we're still working out kinks with all that stuff. Paris had a great showing in the first half of the LSU game. It was a really, really big spark for us. Um, and I think she showed people what she can do. And now it's just about getting back in game shape and, um, you know, and everybody just kind of learn each other. But we're getting there. I said we would get better every game. I think we are. Um, you know, but again, when you miss so much time, it's still going to take a little bit of time to gel. Kind of just to go off that question, when you're in an early season tournament in a central location for an extended amount of time, how important is it to be able to have those experiences that are how they'll help further down the line, as well as bringing the group together? Uh, it's really important. Uh, we, we were there for about five days, I think. So there was obviously a lot of team bonding. The girls got to kind of hang out with each other outside of basketball even more. Um, you know, there was no school over Thanksgiving break. So it was just really a lot of together togetherness, you know, and a lot of time to bond. So that was great. And then, um, you know, just the competitive nature of that tournament. It was a pretty stacked tournament. You know, all teams are good. Even Tulane, that's a great mid-major um, you know, and they gave both teams you know, early, they gave us fits a little bit. And then their next game against Virginia Tech, they gave them fits. So I think uh, just the competitive nature of that tournament and wanting to come out 2-0 and just sparked a little bit more in some of our players. We saw, I mean, I thought Sam Brunell had a tremendous tournament too, especially in the LSU game. She played on both sides of the ball, blocking shots, battling with that big kid in there, um, and then hit some really big shots for us. And then Jan Tavon, who made all tournament teams, she kind of woke up and just, you know, came into it. Like that's the Jan Tavon we saw all summer in preseason. She's gotten so much better and so much more confident. So I was I was just really excited to see her kind of come into her own there. Um, and then other performances all down the line. So I just think being out there really helped us kind of gel a little bit more as a team, but then our camaraderie and synergy on the court. How important was it to have Yanta and Sam uh, going, especially in that um, LSU game, to help you guys further down uh, for the rest of the season? Yeah, I mean, I think I think everybody was important. You know, LSU, obviously reigning champs. So for some of the breakout performances that we had, to do it against that team is only going to add to our confidence, individually and as a team. So I think uh, it was really important that we perform well and we feel good about ourselves. Obviously, after the game, we weren't feeling great because we lost. But at the same time, I think it's added to our confidence um, just as a whole of what we can do as a team. You kind of got into it there with, you didn't get the result you wanted against LSU, but in terms of big time game experience, playing a team that has been to the Final Four, won a national championship on a neutral floor, taking them down to the wire, what kind of value does that provide this early in the season about what it takes to close out a game like that? Yeah, I mean, I think it's huge. Also, we, we had a lot of blown possessions, you know, offensively and defensively. Overall, when you look at the game, we competed, we fought, we battled, um, we wanted it. People came in there with a fire in their eyes, things like that. But there was a lot that we could have done better in that game. And to be this early and be in the game and still have walk away with, wow, we could have done this better, I think it's just it just gives us a little bit more confidence of what kind of team we can be down the stretch. You've talked a lot about the changing rotations and obviously the injuries played a factor in that. 
I think you've had nine different players start at this point in the season. How long do you expect that process to take throughout the season of kind of figuring out who the starters are going to be, and, and do you expect that to change as the season goes on? Yeah, I mean, it's funny. Before the season started, I said we got about nine or ten kids that could start, and we've seen that. So um, <clears throat> I just think it's we got to we had to figure out who what group of five kids together gives us our best punch in the beginning. Now, I do foresee it changing because we have some kids that are just really, really good defense defenders and then some kids that are really good on offensive ends. So it just depends on what kind of punch we need to start the game. If it's a defensive punch, it might be a certain lineup or offensive punch, or we have kids that can do both. So um, I don't, I'm not going to say it's going to change as much as it has been. I think we'll probably get, here, get in a rhythm here soon, but um, I'm just not somebody who – is going to say, oh, I'm going to have the same starters all year. And then you knew Kamora was talented when she came in. How long did it take you in the preseason to realize she can start day one, she's played the most minutes so far this season? When did you know she's, she can be that type of player right away to start her career? Um, I mean, she's kind, of, she's kind of proved it throughout the course of preseason, summer. Um, she's just a kid that really works hard, you know, wants to come in first every sprint, every, you know, possession or whatever. She has a lot of competitive edge to her, kind of plays with a chip on her shoulder. But she's still a first year. She's still a freshman, so she's still learning, and you see that out there. Sometimes she has phenomenal moments, and sometimes she has freshman moments. So I just think as the season goes on, she's going to get better and better. Is Missouri a program that you're familiar with because of your time at Missouri State? Do you know a lot about them? Yeah, we played them three times when right. I was at. What what challenge will they pose on th on Thursday? Um, they're very versatile. You know, the way that they play is difficult. It's a difficult style to guard, similar to Oklahoma, a little different though. Um, and and I think that that's what they try to do. They try to take advantage of the versatility. They got kids that can um, shoot, drive, and post up. Big guards, all their guards besides their point guard are six six feet, six one, six two. Um, so, it, you know, we just have to really lock into the scouting report, the game plan, and make sure we execute it. As Paris gets back into game shape, what, what does she add that maybe – what's her – how would you describe her skill set? Yeah, I mean, I think people saw it a little bit in that first half against LSU, but she's a three-level scorer. Um, she can get downhill. She can finish. She can shoot. Um, you know, she has a lot to her offensive bag. But – defensively is really where she thrives. Um, and I think as long, like, the more you see her get in game shape, you're going to see that more. Um, but she started out on Michaela Williams, who's LSU's best player statist statistically. Um, I mean, Anissa obviously <laughs> had a tremendous game against us and is one of their best players too. But Michaela Williams, she started out on her and did a phenomenal job on her. So she's, she's probably our best on-ball defender, I would say, even though we have a lot of great defenders with Lex, JJ, Mo, everybody. But Paris brings a little something different to that. And also just the, her ability to get deflections off ball um, is really going to help us and then rebounding. So I think she's just, you know, like some of our other guards, she just is a kid that can play on both sides of the ball. Were there any fun team bonding stuff that you guys had a chance to do over the course of your time in the Cayman Islands? Yeah, we had some kind of, you know, crazy travel uh, getting there. So it took a little bit of time out from when we were going to do some things. But the girls were able to get out there. They got in the ocean, some jet skied, um, what do you call it? canoeing. I think canoeing, yes. Uh, paddle boards, you know, stuff like that. They had a good time in the ocean, um, in the pool. And then um, there, was, there was an excursion that I know a lot of the families did. Our players didn't get to do this, but they got to see the stingrays mm -hmm. and things like that. So there was fun out there for sure. I mean, we didn't want to just go out there and make it all business. But, um, you know, with a tight schedule, you had to do a lot of, you know, film prep, walkthroughs, things like that. Because at the end of the day, it is a business trip. But we always want to be able to create those lasting memories together.